Okay. Now let's go back and let's do this now with dynamic pricing. Uh, so I'm going to create another simple product and this is going to be the dynamic break bundle. I'm going to publish that uh, just like before. We're going to go into the options. We'll add break pads and break rotors. For break pads, I will do dynamic this time and we're going to do again, basic pads and premium pads. And I have to save it. And when I go back in, there's no price this time. Price is dynamic. Uh, I still need to put in my SKU, however. So the basic pads, and this again is just one. And then premium pads. Premium. And then brake rotors. Uh, dynamic. Save it. Add basic rotors. And we'll add premium rotors. Again, we'll go back and edit those. The basic rotors are here. And the premium rotors are here. We'll save that. And again, we'll go back to our storefront. Go to the catalog, and we now have our dynamic break bundle. Um, again, pricing from 4320, it did that calculation automatically. I didn't have to put any information in. And you'll notice that it's showing me, it's, it's reflecting the promo pricing. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.